Hey students, in this week's episode of The View, we have announcements, sports, and updates on what's happening in the Bear community. The View starts now. Hi, my name is Sam. My name is Sophia. Hello, my name is Caden. Hi, I'm David Blake. I'm a senior. And I'm in ninth grade. I'm a senior. I'm a senior. I'm in seventh grade. I played the bass drum, bells, and the mamba. I played tenor drums. Uh, I play. I'm in the front ensemble, and I'm on the marimbas. I play the snare drum. I play bass drum for drum line. And this is the 2018 to 2019 Mountain View High School drum line. someone whose birthday is coming up soon? Is it your best friend's birthday and you forgot to get balloons? No worries, the school store has got you covered. You can order balloons to be delivered to that special someone through My Payments Plus or in store during lunch. Let's take a look at our school store video. All of our bottoms are also 40% off, including our leggings and shorts. And if you're thirsty, we have lemonade, we have tea, and we have any fruit punch from Minute Maid, and we have cookies for a dollar. Are you interested in giving your friend a balloon for any type of event? Well, we have all. For birthdays, love, or even just wanting to say thank you. As you can see, we have it all. Don't forget to spend $25 or more and you'll get a free gift. Come, come shop, shop with us! Hey Bears, come out and support a great cause. The Bear Chair 5K will be 8 a.m. Saturday, November 17th at Mountain View High School for $25. The day of the event, but the real deal is $79 for a family of four and the fun run itself is 17 for all ages. In sports, we would like to congratulate our varsity volleyball players on their all-county team selections. Morgan made first team, and Noel Primas and Anna Harda made second team. Kaylee Bargeron is honored with Scholar Athlete. They get to be honored at the county banquet on November 26th at North Gwinnett High School. Congratulations to our football team on the win against Duluth, 48-0. Senior night was awesome. It was chilly outside on Friday night. We will miss our seniors. Basketball season is upon us. Our next game is Tuesday, November 13th against Archer at Archer. Now let's take a look at this week's entertainment from Baxter. You got to think real hard about this fight. You got people that need you now. That's why I can't lose. Adonis Creed has been challenged by Victor Drago, son of the man who killed his father. I want to rewrite history. Don't pretend this is about your father. This guy is dangerous. I'm dangerous. It's time, kid. Creed 2, rated PG-13. I take it. You've heard the rumors. In the world wants to rule the wizarding world. I cannot move against Grindelwald. It has to be you. Have you got anything in your case that might help? Genius. Vanilla Beats 
takes a huge leap. Don't you ever wish something new and different would happen in your game? I get it. You're looking to spice things up. But trust me, the internet is the wrong kind of spice. This Thanksgiving. Oh, I can drive anywhere. From Disney. Here we go. Family-friendly fan sites. That sounds safe. Hi. Oh. What the? Ralph breaks the internet. Oh, Ladies, are you guys okay? Should I call the police? Rated PG, November 21st. This year, we have been focusing on getting to know our staff better. Here's a segment on Coach Calloway. Well, I'm originally from Savannah, Georgia. I grew up there um, and uh, moved up here a long time ago. I started teaching back in 1999. Uh, my first year was at uh, South Gwinnett. It was a part year uh, time. Uh, from there, I went to DeKalb County, uh, taught at Clarkson High School, had some awesome experiences. I coached football, uh, soccer, wrestling. I took the golf team for the first time in school's history. We went to the state championship, came in dead last, but we had a blast. Um, I had a bunch of kids who had never seen a golf club before, and I kept, and we got off the streets, and we were doing some really cool things um, with the program. Um, from there, I went to be assistant principal at Monroe Area High School in Walton County. I've totally enjoyed my last four and a half years at Mountain View. This place has been a blessing to me. The students have really been a blessing to me. Um, I've learned so much from the students here, as much as I've probably taught them. What are your hobbies when you're not teaching? When I'm not teaching, I've got four kids. I've got uh, two that are over um, in Tequila schools. I've got one at Tequila High School. She's a freshman this year. Um, she does comp cheer and uh, sideline cheer for f JV football and JV basketball. I've uh, got a daughter, she's doing uh, cheer for Dekula Middle School. And I have two sons that are over at McConnell Middle School, one of them who I had the pleasure of coaching football this year for the first time, and another one who's in the band. Something that's important to me is, and it's in my classroom, and it's something that has always been important to me just in general, is that kids, or just people in general, when they're doing something, they do it to their best. If you're going to take time to do it and you're going to be invested in it, do it the best that you can. Um, because even if you're doing your best and you come up short, you can learn from it. If you just halfway try something and you're not going to figure out what you need to do to get better and to me that's really important because I want kids to learn, I want, I want my students to know what's important in the school but to me I, it's a bigger deal for all of my students to do something bigger outside of school. This is a short period of time. I want my students to have life skills, critical thinking and being able to think for themselves and not have to worry about what somebody else is telling them to go out and find what they think is the right answer, not what somebody's trying to tell them is the right answer. Now let's take a look at a new segment created by Luis Garcia called Have You Heard? To Have You Heard, a segment we bring to you on information that you may or may have not heard before. On this one, well, you probably already have an idea of what it's on by this picture. That's right, Kanye West. Kanye West is a rapper, record producer, and fashion designer that put this controversial tweet out a couple days ago. That reads, <clears throat> McDonald's is my favorite restaurant. McDonald's is my favorite restaurant. Yup, that's right. Even after he bought his wife 10 branches of Burger King as a wedding gift, Kanye decided to put that out there to his 28 million Twitter followers and followed up with this picture. His tweet got a lot of feedback, including from Burger King saying, that explains a lot. And of course, Wendy saying, I'm my favorite restaurant. 
followed up by almost 10,000 other people. Crazy. Mountain View Band has some amazing talent. We took time to feature the drumline in this week's episode. Let's go to Eric Dallas to take a closer look at our drumline members. Hi guys, my name is Eric Machuca. I go by Eric Dallas. I'm a freshman on drumline and today we're going to be interviewing the drumline. So to get it started off, they're going to be answering by stating their name and their grade level. Um, how long have they been on drumline? What instruments do they play on drumline? Why did they join drumline? Favorite memories from drumline? And the last question is, from scale to 1 to 10, how hard or challenging is to be on drumline? And for my extra question, for the snare players, um, do you guys play traditional or match script? So now, let's get to our first interview. My name is Naima Denard and I am a senior. Um, I would say that oh, I, I was in drumline for pretty much a year. I'm gonna say a year. And uh, I played the bass drum. second competition with me and my guys and our front ensemble we were like the dad at the bottom you know my boy Eric and and um, I would say that on a scale to one to ten how hard I would say it's it depends I would say if, if we're talking um, band camp I would say it's like a hard like nine <laughs> or eight point five because <laughs> that crap was hard but like everything else like after that like the music becomes like pretty easy like you play it like all the time and um yeah I would just say the weather and standing for a long time so overall I would say a good six point five <laughs> but, but yeah all right hi my name is Sam and I'm in ninth grade and I've been on drumline for this is my first year and uh, I play, I'm in the front ensemble and I'm on the marimbas, which is the big on keyboard instruments. Uh, I joined drumline because I was kind of blackmailed into it. Um, I always loved music and everything and I considered joining, but I never really wanted to join. But uh, my friend just kind of blackmailed me and, you know, that's why I kind of joined it. It was kind of a joke, obviously, but still, I mean, that kind of gave me an incentive to join, so I did that. And, um... Some of my favorite memories is uh, going out to eat with my friends on Fridays before games. And uh, in the stands, it's really fun with, with all the seniors just messing around with the freshmen. And, you know, that's it's just some of my uh, favorite, favorite memories from Drumline, especially in the stands. And uh, from a scale of 1 to 10, I, I don't, it, like, challenging, challenging wise, it's really like a 4 in my opinion, because we run so many reps outside, we have so many practices, that uh, the music might be originally a bit challenging, but eventually you just do it so many times that it's it's, re it's really not that hard. And yeah. My name is Sophia and I'm a senior. I've been on drumline since I was a freshman. I play bassoon and tenor drums and I play the piano. Uh, 
I joined the drumline because in eighth grade, when I went to Creekland, there was this super cute guy who played percussion. And if I played drumline in the stands during the pep band stuff, then I would get to be with him. So I was like, bet, I'm going to play percussion. And I guess once I got to high school, it just stuck with me. Uh, my favorite memory from drumline is my junior year, me and Caden and Mustafa and Abby, we went to Ethan's house. He graduated. And I remember singing Sunday Candy on the way to Moe's. And that whole day was just so much fun. And I get all like warm on the inside because I think about it. Um, from the scale of 1 to 10, how hard or challenging is it to be on drumline? I think it's more challenging to deal with everyone, mostly the freshmen, <laughs> rather than the music itself, because once you play the music a hundred million times, it's not hard anymore. But I, I really enjoy drumline. It's one of my favorite parts of high school, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Hello, my name is Caden. I'm a senior. I've been on drumline for four years. Uh, I play the snare drum as well as percussion in class, and I play the guitar as well. I originally joined Drumline because it was fun hitting stuff, um, that's pretty much it. I was always really destructive as a kid, um, so I could hit something and not get in trouble for it. Uh, my favorite memory of Drumline was my sophomore year when we were at a competition in Carrollton, Georgia, and just that whole day it was funny. Um, I can't really explain it better than that. Uh, from a scale of 1 to 10, uh, I think that uh, Drumline's about a 5. Uh, honestly, if you put the work in, it's not hard, it's not difficult. Um, but you just have to be able to put the work in. Um, and the snare line, we march traditional grip instead of match grip. So, yeah. Hi, I'm David Blake. I'm in 10th grade. It's my second year on Drumline. I play bass drum for drumline. Uh, in band class, I play a lot of different instruments. I also play guitar and alto sax. One of my favorite memories from Drumline is last year, uh, after the mobile pep rally, we were in here eating Zaxby's and it was so much fun. Just getting to hang out with everyone. Uh, scale on 10, how hard, challenging is it to be on Drumline? I'd say a 6. You have to understand how to read music and you have to actually have some form of talent, but it's fairly simple to pick up and easy to learn. It was great getting to know those drumline members and being able to recognize all their hard work. Up next, we have a football senior night footage that Brian Ramirez has captured for us. I'm 
number 36, Damian Chris and his family. Number 10, Mitch Kelvin. Our next lead is number 86, Prayer Catcher, Kevin Drew. Congratulations, Turbo Mountain. Roll back, Baby Eyes, Roger Hampton. Our next lead is number 14, Quarterback, Luke Gilmore. The 63 offensive lineman, Aiden Diggins. Congratulations, number 44. Our next thing is number three, Wilson Seeker, Kevin Brown. Congratulations, number six, Fifth Line, Jacob Humphreys, and his family. Congratulations, Fifth Line, Seth Griffin, Devin, and his family. Our next thing is number six, Fifth Line, Dylan Dunn. And our fifth four, Offensive Line, Will Dunn. Congratulations, number eight, Fifth Line. Number 33, defensive lineman, Kenyon Novera. Our next senior is number 87, wide receiver, Dennis Perkins III. Our next senior is number 34, defensive lineman, Kenyon Novera. 13, wide receiver, Thomas Stewart. Next senior is number 5, defensive back, Steve Jenkins. Our next senior is number 9, defensive back, Steve Jenkins. First up, Megan Burke. Our next senior, the Shy Jones. Congratulations to Brian Evans. Our next singer, Ashley Johnson. Next we have Ashley Grant. Next up, Kenzie Next up, Lauren Olivia Jackson. Our next singer is here, Grace Wellermill. Our next singer is Agatha Pippen. Our next singer is Ashley. Hey, good Our next senior is Emily Johnson. Our next senior is Daniel Jones. Our next senior is Daniel Martinez. Our next senior is George McCall. Our next senior is Kevin McChrystal. Our next senior is Tawana Patel. Our next senior is Dan Supplier. Our next senior is Bruno Ramirez. Congratulations to the first winner and her family. Congratulations to that player, Fred, and her family. The final senior, Johnny Wilson. Speaking of football, the Bears are playing Norcross tonight at Norcross. Come out and support our Bears. Well, Bears, that concludes this week's episode of The View. Thanks for watching and tune in next week for our news. As you go about your day, always remember, life is like a stage and someone is always watching. Stay excellent, Mountain View.